Greetings, math friends. This is not the set of the new Jurassic World movie. This is a location in rural North America. Is there any mathematics to be found out in the middle of a location like this? Possibly. It depends on your perspective. For one thing, we might try to locate our longitude and latitude on the globe at this location. How might we accomplish that? Another thing we could ask is, as we look at the trees and the way that they have fallen, can we determine which order the trees fell in? As we approach this tree fall over here, this tree falls underneath of this tree so we can ascertain that this one has fallen first and then the other one fell on top of it. Would they have fallen at the same time? Well, that's a great question. If we notice, this tree appears to be much more aged than this tree here. A question we might look into is, if these are the same types of wood or similar woods, at what rate do they decay? This might give us an indicator on uh, how long ago this tree fell compared to this tree just by looking at decay rates. This would be a biological question, a question for an arborist, someone who studies trees. Um, furthermore, as we look at the creek bed that we have here, we see uh, what is potential evidence of erosion. So as we look at a uh, waterbed, there's typically some kind of uh, rock debris. Uh, the way that uh, the rocks are accreted and the level of uh, other soils versus the rocks could be a timeline indicator for erosion. We also could look at the different types of rocks that we have here and potentially determine uh, some of the other geological characteristics based on the average of this region of the world. As you look at the world around you, what other things can you see in nature that you can model mathematically? Really, a lot of the early mathematics and some very excellent mathematics comes from modeling the world around us. Cheerful calculations.